Hi guys, so sorry for the lack of videos lately, but I've been so busy. This week has been so, so hectic. Um, I've got kind of a bit of a quieter um, a few days, so I'm hoping to film some videos. Um, I've got kind of a few days where I can just chill and relax and get everything on my to-do list sorted. So I'm going to have a big filming session and get all that sorted. Grant is working a lot this week, and well, I'm just getting things ready for holidays. I might do a few packing videos and things like that. Today I'm going to do a haul video for you all, because today I've been to London. Um, I love London. I absolutely love it. It's just the best place um, and I actually met Martha there and she's a girl who I've met actually via YouTube she doesn't do videos but when I mentioned in a video that I was going to go to Manchester Metropolitan University to do fashion buying and merchandising she also was going there and doing the same course we ended up talking ages and ages and ages ago about going to university and you know just talking about the accommodation and like oh have you brought this have you done this and you know all stuff like that and just applying and stuff like that anyway I ended up applying for the same course but both of our, as our firm choice and applying for the same accommodation and everything anyway so we decided to meet so we met up in London um, she is quite a far away from me so um, and I live quite far away from her quite obviously so we met kind of in the middle in London and we had such a lovely day and um, there's that kind of whole thing of meeting someone off the internet and is it safe and whatever and we've been talking for such a long time and it was just really really great and we had such a good day and we got on so well and we just got had so much in common and it was just great so if you want me to do a video on meeting people on the internet or making friends on the internet or things like that then let me know because I was thinking about doing a video on it and kind of like the do's and don'ts and stuff like that not like really patronising um, but just talking about it really um, because at one point this morning I did think what if she is a man <laughs> and an old man who isn't actually Martha she's just some old man uh, but she wasn't and we got on really really well now I'm going to talk to you about the things that I got in London when I was with Martha first I'm going to show you things that I got from Kiko I haven't got tons in this haul um, but I just thought I just wanted to haul some things for you because I know you all love those kind of videos so this is the Kiko bag and there's actually a Kiko now in um, Regent Street in London and there used to be only one in one of the Westfield centres but there's now one in, Ki in um, I was going to say Kiko Street uh, in Regent Street so that's really good so the first thing that I got is the intensive hand balm and um, basically at the moment or for ages I have had such such dry hands. I've been really really struggling, especially this hand. This one isn't as bad, and I've had to end up wearing these two rings on the same hand because this one's been dry like literally six seven months. I'd say now, really really bad, um, and it just dries up all the time. I haven't found anything at all that really makes it really good. Sorry about the lighting in the back, by the way. It's kind of late, um, but yeah. So I haven't found anything that kind of makes my hands really really soft and gets rid of the dryness so I got this because it's this intensive hand balm and it is actually a balm it's not a cream and um, it's kind of like a gel texture and um, I'll get a little bit out for you so you can kind of see I don't know if you see that but it's more of, more of like a, a gel texture um, and it's really really nice really soothing it doesn't sting my hands because I get some eczema on my hands as well so it doesn't sting at all um, and it just it says intensive hand balm intensive anti-dryness hand balm that's it. Uh, really nice packaging as well. I really like this. It's really sleek. They also did a hydrating one and they did another one as well. I think it was anti-age hand balm actually. Um, but yeah, really, really like this. And this was only £5, which I thought was very, very good. So yeah, especially for the size. I then got this, which is an interesting product. It's called the Kiko Intense Peeling Exfoliating Treatment Wipes with um, Alpha and Beta Hydroxy Acids. So it looks like this. Um, inside, I haven't actually looked inside actually. There's loads of different sachets, as it looks, and you've got step one and step two. It's basically um, an exfoliation kind of process um, that exfoliates the top layer of your skin off. Um, sounds a bit scary, but it shouldn't be. It's basically got glycolic, um, mandelic, citric, malic, salicylic, uh, and lactic acids in it. Um, I hate saying acid names, they really confuse me. Uh, it's got all those acids in it, um, and you get like a little wipe almost. Is it a wipe? It almost like a... Yeah, it's a wipe. Um, you wipe that all over your face. It's got the like exfoliating bit in it, and then you wipe number two all over your face too, and that's like a soothing kind of um, towel, if you know what I mean, to kind of soothe the process. And you, it's a it's a fifteen day process, and you use it for fifteen days every night on uh, dry, clean skin. It just really intrigued me. This was fifteen pounds, and again, I don't think that's horrifically bad at all. Um, it was really really good value actually. The whole shot was. I was really surprised how cheap it was, um, and yeah looks really really cool but my only problem is we're gonna have to wait a while to use this because um it's not very sensible to use it when you're about to go on holiday because um using acids and combining it with the sun isn't a great thing because it's really really can be really prone to sunburning when you start using acids on your face uh, to exfoliate so i'm gonna leave this one until i come back from for a few holidays um because even using spf 50 
sometimes can it can still give you some bone while using acids so i'm gonna give this one a little bit of a miss for a couple of maybe a couple of weeks and um, well more like a month actually but if you want me to do a review on this when i get round to using it let me know because i am really interested on this and i could do like a little like process and show you the improvements and stuff like that it may be absolutely rubbish but i'm hoping it's not and then i got a lipstick um and i wasn't i was intrigued by the makeup but i've been to kiko quite a few times because um, when we go on holiday in italy and we go to holiday in italy mainly every single year um there's always been a Kiko there. So I've actually used Kiko for quite a long time. Um, not like loads of it, but when I go holiday, I normally pick up a, a few bits. Um, so I didn't realise really it was such a big deal. And then when it came to the UK, everyone was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Um, so I've used the makeup for a while, and that's why I kind of brought more skincare bits. Um, but this one is the, what was it called? The Unlimited St Stylo um, Lipstick in 002. Um, these were kind of like, they were supposed to be long lasting, creamy formulas, non-transferable. Um, and I got this colour because I thought it was a natural rosy colour. Um, I didn't want to get too bright of a colour because it said it was long lasting, uh, it said it was non-transferable and stuff like that, which right now is transferable. So I don't know if it dries to like a matte finish or it dries to like a, a stain or I'm not really sure, but um, it was an interesting concept and I like long lasting products so I got this and I like the packaging too, it's really sleek, it's really nice and I like the fact you can see the colour here, so again that's in 002 and I think this was £6.90 I think, yeah I think so. Guys I really hope I'm tired when I'm just here again and life's not good right now. Um, I've then I then went to Primark which is the only other place I went actually, except from an American sweet shop, I'll show you the bits I got there too. Um, and I got a few bits from Primark. I actually got loads of clothes. I was like, I love this, I love this, I love this. To go into the changing rooms, I hated everything. So yeah, they didn't go down too well. Um, I don't know why, just things didn't look right. They just weren't shaped right and things hung in weird places. And yeah, I just wasn't feeling it. Um, the first thing that I got are these. Very pretty, very nice heels. They're um, suede, obviously not real. They've got a nice platform, a nice heel, a nice like thickness of heel. Um, and I just really like them. These were £12. What a bargain. And I will show you at the end of this haul why I got these um, and what they are for. But yes, £12. Not too shabby in my opinion and I really like them. They're actually really comfy as well. Obviously I've only worn them like walking around in the shop but they were actually really comfy. I then got these sandals from Primark and these were, how much were they? £8. They just look like this. They're uh, black and they've got this kind of like gold detailing and then they've got kind of this elastic at the side which I really like because they you can just basically stretch them and put your feet in there's no like buckle or anything which I really like because they're not flip flops well they are but they're not like casual flip flops they're like proper sandals but there's no buckle and there's no like faffing it's just nice sandals and I really like these and um, as probably most of you know me and Bradley are going on holiday um, on Sunday the 6th of July which is like less than a week away now um, so yeah just getting some last minute bits so these will be great for holiday again just chucking on and i think they'll look really nice with anything because they're black i then got this necklace and i absolutely love this uh it just looks like this and this says eight euros i don't know if it was eight pounds i don't really know i should probably check the receipt um it looks like this the color is kind of like it's what the light's kind of washing this out it's very pastel colors there's like a purple a pink um there's a cream and a, and, and a um mint colour here and it's just gorgeous I think this would look really nice with like an all white outfit um I just think it would look really really pretty and I just really like it I could probably get away with wearing it what I've got on now but it's kind of like throw it with a necklace like this needs to be like a really like statement piece um I just really liked it so yeah I got that I then got two beach cover-ups so this is the first one that I got and I actually had to get this in a size 10 to 12 um because they didn't have um any smaller sizes but I really liked it and I needed some beach cover-ups I haven't actually tried it on yet so it could be too big but it was only four pounds so if it is then it's not too big of a deal uh, but it's got like this neon embroidery which is in the shape of like flowers at the top and it just comes down and it's in this kind of like cotton material at the bottom I just thought this was thinner than it was uh, than it is sorry um, and when I got it home I realized it is actually quite thick cotton at the bottom um, but still I think it'll be really nice to just chuck over a bikini and just wear to go down to breakfast or whatnot if you're buying for the pool or anything I wouldn't necessarily wear this in the UK but yeah I really like this I then got another beach cover up or pool cover up or whatever you call it and this is what this one looks like um, and it's got kind of it's like lacy kind of see through material it's got a little bit coming in the waist and then it just goes down to a skirt at the bottom um, it's got kind of like gold detailing on the little tassels and how much was this this was seven pounds and this is in a size six to eight so this one's a perfect size 
Um, I just think this will look really nice over a bikini. It will just look really casual and really cute. Then I then just got this wash bag. Uh, it's got macaroons all over it. Um, I just needed a new wash bag really and this was like a nice size. Um, I thought I could kind of like restrict myself and get everything in here. Um, I'm going to go um, in the week and buy minis for everything. If you want me to do it what's in my travel wash bag or travel makeup bag or anything like that, let me know because I'll be up for doing one of those videos uh, because I'll be doing them in the next couple of days. So yeah, really like this one. And this was only £4 bargain. And it's kind of that like wipe proof material. And the last thing I got is probably one of my favourites and me and Martha both picked this up and it just looks like this. It's a little clutch bag and it's got all these pretty like um, flowers all over it. This was only £6 and this is like really good quality. Like it's just really nice and inside it's got a little zip and I don't know, I just really like it. It's really good quality. Um, so yeah, I can definitely use this on holiday, on nights out and things. Mostly holiday, I think. Um, but yeah, lovely, lovely. I absolutely love this. I then went to the American Sweet Shop, so I'm just going to show you what I got because I'm so excited. Um, the first thing I got is um, some milk duds. I'd never actually tried these before. Um, and American Sweets are just a fortune in the UK. These were... 4 99 I think, which is just ridiculous. Um, but in Essie Button's, um, no, in Amelia Liana's new vlog, Essie Button said, they're in the American sweet shop um, in America, and Essie Button said, if you haven't tried these, then you're not my type of person, or something like that. So I had to get them. They're just basically like chocolate with caramel inside. Kind of like poppets, I suppose. Um, it's the only thing I could think of to describe them of. And they are actually really nice. I really like those. Uh, probably not worth 4 99 but they're nice. I then got some M&M's American style and these are um, in the flavour birthday cake and these are pretty fancy, they taste really nice. I don't think they quite taste like birthday cake, they taste of something nice. So yeah, I really really like American M&M's and I absolutely love the packaging of them because they're like a really nice sensation to tear, that might sound ridiculous but they just are and the size of them are just bigger and I just love American M&M's, especially in the mint flavour, just love them, they're just too expensive. And then I got one of these, which is an airhead in the flavour of cherry. And I just ate this, and this is really, really nice. So I saved the packet to show you, but I really like this. It was really yummy. And then the last thing I have to show you is not something I brought from London today. So I finished everything that I've got from London. I showed you all of that. I didn't buy too much because we basically sat in restaurants for hours and hours and hours today, just chatting and getting to know one another, which was absolutely lovely. Um, but I'm going to show you my prom dress or formal dress that um, I will be wearing on Saturday the 5th which is the day before me and Bradley go on holiday um, and I got a long dress because to me I'll definitely do an outfit of the day so don't worry if you can't see this but this is what I got the pink shoes for um, to go with so it's one shouldered um, I'll insert a picture on the side of me wearing this I look like I'm an idiot in the picture so please excuse it um, but basically it's one shouldered and this bit here has got a bit of wire in it to make it kind of stand up and this goes around like one boob and then it's one shouldered it comes down it's a really nice jersey material and then there's a massive split in the leg so you're not going to be able to see but i'll post a picture about the size so you can see what it looks like this is in a size six and it's from misguided um i ordered it uh a week ago i think um and it's it was 34.99 i thought it was really really good value for a prom dress um and most people at my school are actually wearing um short dresses but i thought when do you ever get a chance to wear a long dress um so i'm gonna wear this one and to make it a bit summery i'm gonna wear pink heels with it which is the ones that i showed you so I'm going to wear these pink heels with it um, and because it's got the slit in the leg you'll be able to see the heels and I just think it'll look really nice and I'm going to get a pink clutch as well to wear with it so I think with the pink and everything I think it'll look really nice um, so yeah I'll definitely do an outfit of the day for you all on um, my outfit of the night um, on my formal um, I won't forget um, but yeah really like this dress thought I would share it with you so we're about to run out of battery so I'm going to go uh, but thank you very much for watching guys um, leave me any requests of like travel videos you want um, or if you want me to do any out for the days or anything like that then let me know and I will speak to you all very soon I hope you're having a lovely day bye guys